Good evening. Welcome to this regular meeting of September 16th, 2024 of the Dubuque Community School District Board of Education um, Board of Education meeting. This is called to order. Our mission is to develop world-class learners and citizens of character in a safe and inclusive learning community. Roll call, please. Bradley? Here. Hamill? Here. Jacobitz Kazire? Here. Jones? Here. Parks? Sansi? Whitman? Here. That brings us to the Pledge of Allegiance. We're happy to welcome Lincoln Elementary School, and they will be leading us with the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I'm Abby. I'm in second grade. I'm Laszlo. I'm in second grade. I'm Kanya, and I'm in second grade. I'm Jalen, and I'm in second grade. Good job. Good job. Go ahead. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job. You guys students. were amazing. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I move the Board of Education approve the agenda as submitted. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the agenda as submitted. Are there any discussion? Hearing none, all of those in favor signify by saying A. Any opposed? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Sorry. That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education approve the minutes of the regular meeting on August 12th and the special meeting on August 27th, 2024, as submitted. Second. It has moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the minutes of the regular meeting on August 12th and the special meeting on August 27th, 2024, as submitted. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Respond by saying A. Aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education approve a resolution of paying agent, bond registrar, and transfer agent, approving the paying agent, bond registrar, and transfer agent agreement, and authorizing the execution of same. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve a resolution appointing paying agent, bond registrar, and transfer agent, approving the paying agent, bond registrar, and transfer agent agreement, and authorizing execution of the same. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, this goes to a roll call vote, please. Hamill? Aye. Jacobitz Kazire? Aye. Jones? Aye. Parks? Sancy? Whitman? Aye. Bradley? Aye. That motion carries. I move that the form of tax exemption certificate be placed on file and approved. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the tax form, the form of tax exemption certificate be placed on file and approved. Is there any discussion? Hearing none. Roll call vote, please. Jacobitz Kazire? Aye. Jones? Aye. Parks? Sancy? Whitman? Aye. Bradley? Aye. Hamill? Aye. That motion carries. I move that the form of continuing disclosure certificate be placed on file and approved. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the form of continuing disclosure certificate be placed on file and approved. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Jones? Aye. Parks? Sancy? Whitman? Aye. Bradley? Aye. Hamill? Aye. Jacobitz Kazire? Aye. That motion carries. I move that the Board of Education approve a resolution authorizing and providing for the terms of issuance and securing the payment of $14,995,000 in school infrastructure, sales, services, and use tax revenue bonds, Series 2024 of the Dubuque Community School District, State of Iowa, 
under the provisions of Chapter 423F of the Code of Iowa and providing for a method of payment of said bonds. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve a resolution authorizing and providing for the terms of issuance and securing the payment of $14,995,000 school infrastructure sales services and use tax revenue bonds series 2024 of the Dubuque Community School District, State of Iowa, under the provisions of Chapter 423F of the Code of Iowa and providing for a method of payment of said bonds. Is there any discussion? I guess I would I would just like to, the, the community probably knows that we have committee meetings before these monthly board meetings. A whole lot of work goes on in discussion and information and debate and discussion. Then we come here and we vote on it. But I'm wondering if the community would benefit by knowing, Ms. Hawkins, what, what we're... Kevin, do you want to come up and just talk a little bit about the bonds um, and the new law that um, requires to go through these motions. Good evening, board members and Superintendent Hawkins. Um, yes, tonight we're finalizing the bond process. Um, what you're doing tonight is approving all of the rules and requirements that we as a district will have to follow once we receive payment. Earlier you approved the sale, now the sale will take place and we'll receive the funds on September 24th and you're approving the final documents. Um, the bond purposes, as we talked earlier, are for the Eisenhower gym and additional classrooms, secured entrance, as well as the mechanical improvements at uh, Irving Elementary. Anything else you want me to cover on that? No, I think that summarizes Can it. Can you explain, Mr. Kelleher, what, where that money comes from? Sure. And we understand the use of it. What is it, where does yeah, it come from? It's coming from the one cent option tax that all of us pay as citizens when we purchase goods. The district collects one cent um, a sales tax on that, and those funds are then distributed to the district on a monthly basis. Um, so we use those, we will be using those dollars to pay off these bonds in the future. We're getting the money ahead of time to build um, the structures, and then we pay off those bonds using those proceeds from the, the one cent option. So this total amount of money will cover both projects, the Eisenhower gym and the Irving HVAC system. That is a plan, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for clarification, Kevin. Did you have a, Dirk, or you no, were just no. saying thank you? Okay. Yeah, just thank you. Kevin only has a couple meetings left, so we got to bring him up to the yeah, podium. Yeah, yeah. To the microphone, yeah. <laughs> okay, now we're ready for roll call vote, please. Whitman? Aye. Bradley? Aye. Hamill? Aye. Jacob Itzkazire? Aye. Jones? Aye. That motion carries. Now we move on to board salutes, and we have three of them. Um, we'll start with Sarah. A board salute goes to all involved in making a warm welcome for the Iowa State Board of Education, which held its regular meeting right here in this room, and then went on to visit Bryant, Bryant Elementary School while they were here visiting us in Dubuque. First, thank you to Brad Tiggis and Michael Lawrence, who provided on the ground technical support to be sure that this boardroom was ready for the board's meeting and live stream across the entire state. The team from the Iowa Department of Education coordinating this meeting couldn't say enough good things about the service they received from our staff as well as this wonderful meeting space. Second, thank you to Megan Richardson and her team at Bryant Elementary School who welcomed the board for a site visit so that they could showcase the work that they're doing on early literacy support. The board was thrilled to see learning in action here in Dubuque, and it was great to highlight the amazing work that our educators do each day in Dubuque to support student reading specifically. So kudos to all involved for supporting a successful visit at the state level and for representing us so well. Thanks, Sarah. Dirk, I think you have one too. Yes, a board salute also goes out to the many administrators and team members across the district who have spent their Friday evening supervising at all the home football events, <laughs> welcoming thousands of spectators to beautiful Dalzell Field each week is no small task. We would not be able to make it happen without the work of Director of Activities and Athletics, Joe Maloney, the high school principals and assistant principals, and administrators from across the district 
who help ensure the games run smoothly. Uh, additionally, the work of our ticketing, concessions, and parking teams, as well as our school resource officers, help make watching a football game under the Friday night lights a great place to be for our students, families, and community members. Thanks to all involved for making these events possible. And we just had a full house probably at Dalzell last Friday night mm -hmm. with Hempstead and did. Senior playing. And with the score being so close. Yeah, close game. That was, was awesome. Good. Yeah. And Nancy. I do have, have one. one, yes. You know, as a, as a career-long educator in Dubuque schools, I'm thrilled to be able to represent the board in making this salute. That is to the five district students who were recently named 2024 National Merit Scholarship semifinalists. I see Dr. Kazire showing some proud mama Thanks. body language over there. So we send our congratulations to Benjamin Call from Hempstead High School, Claire Hoyer from Dubuque Senior High School, Mazen Imran from Hempstead High School, Sophia Kazire from Hempstead High School, and Ryan Veldi from Dubuque Senior High School. Receiving this honor, I, I, people may not know, you hear National Merit Scholar, Receiving this honor puts three outstanding student, these outstanding students among the highest scoring entrants in the state of Iowa and among less than 1% of the U.S. high school seniors. That's a big deal. And so we, we send our congratulations and offer our strong, strong praise to these students, their families, <laughs> and their teachers from over the years who have worked hard to help them be and become all that they can. We know that it'll, it'll be fun to track them as they go forward. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> Is there any other board salutes? Okay, moving on. Um, I move that, yep, I move that the Board of Education suspend the rules of order and go into open forum. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education suspend the rules of order and go into open forum. We need a second, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. Second. second. There we go. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education suspend the rules of order and go into open forum. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. We have Megan Elsinger from Lincoln's Elementary School to tell us what's going well at Lincoln. Good evening and thank you for inviting me here to talk um, on behalf of our staff and students about what's going well at Lincoln. We've had a great start to the 24-25 school year. Our dedicated staff came in over the summer to collaboratively work together, aligning curricular materials and planning for differentiated instructional experiences for our students. Additionally, all of our certified staff are currently taking advantage of our state-sponsored letters training, which is all embedded in the science of reading and have worked hard to implement this learning into their lessons for students. And of course, our very exciting news is the completion of our playground project at Lincoln Elementary. Mm -hmm. This project was a collaborative effort with the city of Dubuque, uh, Mercy One, Wellmark, and the Dubuque Community School District to provide an inclusive, safe space for our neighborhood that serves our community. On behalf of our students and staff and our neighbors at Lincoln, I would like to thank the board and Superintendent Hawkins for your ongoing support of this project. Another shout out goes to Rob Powers, Kevin Kelleher, Maddie Haberlin from the city of Dubuque and Candace Udaley Lobach from our Lincoln parent group for their efforts to make this possible. Our playground is busy every afternoon well into the evening and we appreciate this opportunity for our neighborhood. Additionally, I'd like to extend an invitation to all those here tonight um, to our Lincoln playground grand opening and fall carnival, which is taking place a week from Thursday, September 26th from 3.30 to 6 at Lincoln. Superintendent Hawkins and City Council member Rick Jones will be addressing the crowd at 4.15 that afternoon. And there will be games, several community partnerships, and we are just excited to welcome you all to this wonderful space. So thank you so much. It looks beautiful it just driving look beautiful, by on, right? on the street. Yeah. Yeah. Megan, I want to comment on your students. I've never seen <laughs> four second graders in so much unison. <laughs> they were awesome. They were very excited. Too. Yeah. <laughs> we loved having them. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Is there anyone else that wishes to address the board at this time? If so, we ask that you state your full name and the connection to the district. 
and limit your comments to three minutes. Seeing none, I move that the Board of Education reinstate the rules of order <coughs> and return to regular session. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education reinstate the rules of order and return to regular session. I move that the Board of Education approve. Oh, I'm sorry. All in favor. Oh, sorry. All in favor, say aye. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Now I move that the Board of Education <laughs> approve those items listed in the consent agenda. And I noticed at the State Board of Education meeting, they read the, the titles of things on the consent agenda. So with your permission, I, I'll just say that consent agenda <clears throat> is the treasurer's report, the budget report, listing of accounts payable, facilities and support services committee, actions, educational program and policy committee work, Acti and the Activities Council. So I move that the Board of Education approve those items. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve, the, approve those items listed on the consent agenda. Do any board members wish to remove any items from the consent agenda for discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Now we'll move on to committee reports. And the facility support service report I will do. We had our meeting on September 9th. And we went through um, mostly lots of times we talk about infrastructure and buildings and grounds, projects that are going on. So happy to say senior high school is completely finished. And we, the board, got to do a tour on it. We had our meeting there Monday. It's phenomenal. So if anyone ever wants to visit Senior and you have an opportunity, please ask someone to get a tour and go through because it's awesome. So we're so happy that the project's done. And um, we'll look for us, you know, there's just a few little punch things to do, but that'll be, you know, finish soon, but otherwise it's officially finished. Um, we talked, okay, update on other district projects. Um, Sageville Elementary School solar project. Alliant bills are continuing to be tracked and work continues with Ide Bailey for the tax credit. And that should happen sometime in 2025. Lincoln Elementary School, the wellness outdoor project that is completed. And we should have a final documentation in October on that. Preschool renovation, we talked about that. We also got to visit the preschool, the seedlings out on the west end of town, and we had our educational meeting there, committee meeting, and that place is phenomenal. So colorful. We have five classrooms that are full now. We have five more ready for more students. All the teachers and staff were there and so excited. So things are going well there. And they, too, have some beautiful playground equipment at that school. Um, Audubon Playground Replacement, that project is complete. Eisenhower Gym Addition Project, um, drawing designs were shared with the committee, so we had some um, overhead views of what it could look like or should look like. And um, the committee was included with a secure entrance, the project art and music classes, a new gymnasium. Current art room will be the principal's office. This is the initial plans. An additional space for the kitchen. Anticipated in late to early winter for drawings to be completed. And then the project should start in 2025. And um, or they'll go out for bid then. And then you know, start in 2025 with the fall of 2026. They anticipate getting bids this fall. Irving Mechanical Remodel Project. Drawings are coming together. They're still working with the city of Dubuque and the DNR for design issues addressing the underground mines in that property. So we can't move too quickly. We have to make sure we, before we start digging, that we don't hit any mines. Um, transportation siding replacement. Um, the equipment is on site and the work has started. 
Josh Posiak gave us an update on synergistics and um, he also shared a presentation outlining the energy management action plan for 2024, 2025, that would include consumption of mitigation for new seedlings preschool building, promoting student engagement, and helping them understand the importance of energy management. And we have some motions. Uh, yes. You could read those, Dirk. First motion I have, I move that the Board of Education approve change order number four to Sheets Design Build LLC on the preschool renovations project in the increased amount of $44,935. I'll second that. I do have a comment on it. Commentary is just that... Um, this change order came about um, and is related to the preschool project. Um, as explained by the architect, these were not entirely um, unexpected changes, but are very important to allow us to have that facility um, have both a welcoming entrance, but also be completely ADA compliant. And so the change order details include things like um, making sure that the doorways are wide enough and that the concrete work is... Um, optimized so that it is very accessible for all of our visitors to this playground. I asked specifically at the meeting if this does continue to keep us on budget for the preschool project, and it does. So it's a change order increase of um, roughly $45,000, but does keep us on budget. Thank you. There a second? She's, she yeah, did. Okay. Second. Yeah. I'm sorry. It has been moved and seconded the Board of Education approved change order number four to the Sheets Design Building LLC on the preschool renovation project in the increased amount of 44935 Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I also move that the Board of Education approve the submission of the request to the School Budget Review Committee in the amount of $4,130,206 or as determined or as determined by the Iowa Department of Education to fo following Department of Education audit review. Um, in a modified supplemental amount to provide 100% spending authority for 2024 special education deficit funded through a cash reserve levy. Second. It has been moved and seconded and that the Board of Education approve the submission of the request to the School Budget Review Committee in the amount of $4,130,206 or determined, as determined by the Iowa Department of Education following the DE audit review in modified supplemental amount to provide 100% spending authority for a 2024 special education deficit funded through the cash reserve levy. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. I also move that the Board of Education approve the submission of the request to the School Budget Review Committee in the amount of $587,514 or as determined by the Iowa Department of Education following the Department of Education audit review in modified supplemental amount to provide 100% spending authority for 2024 excess costs of the LEP program funded through a cash reserve levy. Second. Is it has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education approve the submission of the request to the School Budget Review Committee in the amount of $587,514 or as determined by the Iowa Department of Education following the DE audit review in modified supplemental amount to provide 100% spending authority for 2024 excess costs of the LEP program funded through a cash reserve levy. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Thanks, Dirk. Now we'll move on to the Education Program Policy Committee updates. And Katie Jones. Thank you. Uh, 
as Lisa said, we got to uh, tour the new Seedlings Preschool, which is beautiful. And I wish I had a younger kid that I could send there. <laughs> yeah. Very nice facility. Um, let's see. We also talked about uh, we the renewal of a professional service contract with Transition Alliance Program for service to youth with disabilities. Um, and also uh, talked about an agreement for uh, the senior high school band to attend a New York City music tour in June of 2025. Um, we then heard from our directors of athletics, Joe Maloney, who updated us on the Summer Learning Academy. Uh, this runs through the month of July each summer and provides structured reading, um, st structured reading education in the mornings and fun activities and youth enrichment in the afternoons. Uh, it was reported that over 200 of our 600 first grade uh, students did attend, but uh, they made it clear they're looking at ways to increase attendance for that and getting the word out earlier. Uh, next, um, we heard from our superintendent, Amy Hawkins, who just updated us that the district is working on a new attendance policy that'll keep us compliant with a new state law. Um, the district has communicated uh, to parents via Parent Square app, um, and we'll be learning more about that as it comes forward. Then we reviewed a bunch of policies, and let's see, our next meeting is going to be October 9th at 4 p.m. here at the District Forum. Great. Thanks, Katie. Mm -hmm. That brings us to new business. I move that, <clears throat> excuse me, that the Board of Education take no further disciplinary action related to student number 123-637-9266 at this time. Second. It has been moved and seconded that the Board of Education take no further disciplinary action related to student number 123-637-9266 at this time. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Is there any other board members or administrative issues to bring up? that anyone has? Amy? Um, I personally just would like to um, thank the community for attending our ribbon cutting, cutting ceremony at Saline's Preschool. Um, we had people come that wanted to tour, which is great. We had some of our preschool students attend with their families. And then, of course, our staff was present as well. So what a great way to, for us to showcase the partnership that we've made with not only the city of Dubuque, but the Dubuque YMCA um, to provide that wraparound care, and then also the county, of, um, the, the county also, because they'll have office space at that Seedlings Preschool Center as well. And then lastly, I just really want to say thanks again to everyone who helped host the State um, Board of Education meeting. It was wonderful to have the state come to our district and have the ability for us to showcase the great things that we're doing here, here in Dubuque. And I, I think Nancy said it best when, you know, when people are in Des Moines, they don't always get all the way up to Dubuque. And they're like, gosh, you know, Dubuque's a really nice place. And we said, yeah, you should come more often. Um, but they had a great experience here that they were here the full two days. And I just appreciate everybody um, who was part of that visit. So thank you. Superintendent Hawkins, do you want to say anything about the start of the school year? Are we off and rolling in a good way? It is, yeah. After that first heat wave that we had <laughs> that first week, um, we've had a great start to the year. Um, students are, are eagerly in their learning, and when we've gone into tours of schools, it really looks like we're off to a great start. We're, we're just about fully staffed. Um, and so that's really exciting for us to, mm. to see. We have, haven't had that in a few years. Um, that's exciting for our buildings, for sure. Mm -hmm. And our fall activities are off and running. So if you need something to do, our school district has something that you can go see, watch, or be a part of just about every night of the week. So um, really excited about the start of our school year. So Great. thanks. Thank you. The heat wave continues this week, but well, at least no, 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 it's, no, cool, no, it's no. cooler at no. night. So I said the, it, I, the first thing I said to Megan when I saw her is, how was the building today? She goes, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, because it gets cool at night. Yeah, so yeah. that's the difference. Right there. Well, thank you. We are adjourned. Thank you.